Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video and welcome to the crash course on Vue.js. Now first and foremost, if you're coming up from my another course, full-fledged course, this is a crash course, so keep your expectation with the crash course level. I cannot take each and every topic in depth just like I take in my other courses. Let's go for a crash course here. Short, powerful and easy to understand course. Of course, followable. Now let's go ahead and talk about Vue. Now Vue is a great competition for Angular and for React. Is Vue is something which is purely at the front end. It doesn't do much of the jargons. Surely if you can take it to the next level by adding routers, adding state management or something, then surely it can grow up quite heavy, but by default, it's very lightweight, it's very short, but really very powerful. Now let's go ahead and talk about a few things of the Vue because we are gonna see a whole lot of internet filled with a lot of people who are just truly a fan of Vue. But what they don't tell you a lot is gonna be discussed here. So first, let's go ahead and talk about it. Yes, 100%, it's very lightweight and short. By the term short, I simply means it's really easy to understand the Vue because it doesn't have like gazillion concept just like comparing to Angular. Surely they are there, few of them, like handling the clicking events or on blur events or passing on data from one component to another. So there are few things, certain learning curve is there, but surely compared to them, it's very lightweight and it's short. And within a few weeks, you can actually do a really great impressive job in Vue. And yes, just like any other community, there is a huge community there and they are a big fan of it. And the problem with sometimes with the community is that they love the product so much that they just start bashing the other product. No, it is nowhere like superior to React or Angular. It's nowhere lagging behind the React or Angular. It just is on the very, very uh, narrow edge to edge competition with React and Angular. And that's a good thing for Vue because it's not backed by a big team. It's a very short product and uh, not backed by a big team, but still has a good fan base and good community support. And I think that's the great advantage with the Vue because it's not governed by any of the big gigant corporation and you can have a lot of things. And the great thing about Vue is it listens to community a lot, which is a big deal. Okay. No, it is not going to be a piece of cake. It's not going to be a walk in the park. There are definitely some concepts that you're gonna take some time to learn Vue. If you have never heard about React or you have never worked in Angular, it's not going to be that much easy what people are saying around the community. It's not like that. Understanding these concepts that how you pass on data from one component to another component or what is this Vue if or V if or V else or anything like that, it's not really very easy for beginners to understand. So whatever you have learned that, yeah, it's gonna be just easy, the easiest one of all, no, it's not like that. Given the fact, if you're coming up from a background of Angular, you're gonna see, yeah, this is a piece of cake. If you're coming up from something who has, someone who has learned React and have implemented a few projects of Redux, you're gonna say, yes, passing on the data is much more friendly here, but it's not gonna be piece of cake this, if this is your very first framework this is going to have a learning curve. So make sure to keep that in mind. And yes, as I mentioned, as I said, people coming from the React and Angular background, yes, 100%, this is gonna be super, super easy for you. So keep that in mind. It's not gonna be an overnight magic that you're gonna be mastering it. It's gonna take it time. So keep the reality in check and that's the most important thing. Okay. Now Vue has a couple of installation guides and a couple of ways how you can install it. Uh, the first one is the official Vue.js.org and you're gonna see a lot of people uh, working around how things are working. This is a great documentation and one of the things which I absolutely love about it is they have rock solid documentation. You can learn a whole lot uh, through their documents but it's not really easy to read the documentation. But how we use React is through actually the command line. We go ahead and install it through this way. So this is the CLI, command line interface, given to us by Vue. And how do we install it? We simply go ahead and say npm install dash g, and we simply say at the rate Vue CLI. This installs a utility in our computer, which is Vue CLI, and we can use it to generate project as well as doing many other things. One of the command that we see here is Vue, and then we can use a command create and give a project name to it. According to the guidelines of Vue, and in fact, to be honest, guidelines by W3C, 
you should be using dashes in the project name as well as if you're creating any components custom, you should be using dashes there. So just go ahead and run this command. With this, a sidebar is included that optionally view also provides you a view UI. If you are gonna run this command, this gives you a browser based interface through which you can create view projects but it would be really, really unfair to view if I just talk about the view UI directly in the crash course. It deserves a separate video on itself discussing behind the scene of it and that's what we want. So right now, just go ahead and open up your terminal, which is here. I'm into a folder view tube, which is a fun name and we're gonna create a new project here. So we're gonna say view and then create and make sure I have already got installed on it. So this command is already run, already there in my computer. The view CLI is already installed. So make sure you run this very first command first and foremost, and then we can go ahead and discuss other things. So given the fact, I assume that you have already installed view, we're gonna create this one. I'm into view tube. So view create, and we're gonna call this one as view dash YouTube or view dash crash course, however you want to say. Now this is gonna ask you a couple of questions, not much, view gives you Obviously, you might be knowing this, that these all things are written in advanced JavaScript that needs to be somehow converted into like understandable JavaScript by the browser. And there are many utilities that you can use to do the job. By default, it uses Babel and it's everything is configured. If you want to do your own configuration, you can select manual, but we're gonna go for default and that's pretty much it. Now, surely it can support a whole lot of other things and we're gonna discuss them, but right now let's just do its job because we're gonna be seeing that what the project generation and architecture of project a bit later. Right now, let's just go ahead and discuss a bit more on the view. Okay, let's try to understand what is the core foundation of view, which will help you to understand view as an overall structure. If I talk to you about the old style of web development, we used to have HTML for displaying all the data all the architecture, whatever you want to have. Then we have CSS to make sure that everything looks beautiful. And to add more functionality to it, we have JavaScript. Vue follows exactly same this principle to go ahead and do everything. So HTML is known as templates in the Vue architecture. The CSS is known as style in the Vue architecture. And finally, the JavaScript is known as script. Yes, the script tag, exactly the same that you use in the HTML at the bottom of it. This is exactly the same what we use. And once the project actually loads up, I'm gonna walk you through with the project architecture. And we're gonna understand that by doing some things here and there. So that's gonna be fun as well. Okay, last but not the least, I would like to throw up some jargons in front of you just to give you a brief, brief idea that no, it's not gonna be a walk in the park and I want to connect up with some of the things which are important for us. First and foremost, you're gonna see these things a lot. Property, binding, V model, V if, V for. For example, if you're coming up from the Angular background, this might be very, very familiar to you. Uh, something like we have ng if, ng for, yes, they have exactly the same rule. For rest of the people, you might be thinking, hey, that's really a jargon. I don't understand even a single word what you are saying. I totally agree with you. I will make sure you understand it, but not right now. Then we have some of the events that we can emit, like at the rate blur, at the rate click, and then a dollar emit. Now these are the ways how you actually notify the view that yes, something has happened and we need to run some code and update some of our views inside the HTML. So these are the ways how we do it. And dollar emit is one well, of the core foundation of the view. We emits a lot that happens and based on that we do some stuff, basically JavaScript. Okay. Apart from this, there is gonna be one more thing which I would like to show you that the project and what we are building up. So the project that we are building up, I thought to use the next stick in that. Next stick is one of the lovable thing about Vue and everybody loves to use the next stick. It allows us to do a lot of things in the Vue and if you are learning Vue, you will be spending a lot of time with the next stick. So that's why I have included that in this crash course. Now the question comes up is what we're gonna build in the Vue. So this is, uh, this is what we will be building up in the view. We have a simple CRUD application, uh, call it as to-do application even, but we are gonna able to create, read, update, and delete the data. And this is the modification of data that we can do. Then we can actually click on this uh, pencil icon and this loads up a form and loads up the data. Actually, there are two things going on. This is just a regular data. And this data is loaded up inside a form and that happens very, very quickly in the view. So this, uh, this thing actually gets hidden up and this form loads up with the existing data. And I can add uh, something in this data. So something like uh, created or 
create something like that and once I click on outside then this guy next tick actually kicks in and this updates the data at an instant. So that's, that is super fun to have. And again, you might have seen this example on the view docs page as well, and probably hundreds of other things because it looks almost same. This is a whole lot of things are coming up directly from documentation. So this might sound very similar. And yes, we have an option to delete it and we can actually go ahead and add uh, one more here and that gets added up in that. Nothing is, is, is permanent in this application. We are just loading that up from an array because maybe some another crash course we're going to talk about uh, local storage or adding it up to the database. But I think this is already very overwhelming to understand. So we're going to take some time to understand it because what's the point of having a crash course if you are not able to follow it up along with me. So I hope you are enjoying this. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And in the next video, we're going to do a quick tour of the architecture of view application. Let's go ahead and catch up in the next one and hit that subscribe.